Hello and welcome to Spotlight. It's the podcast that lifts the curtain on life here at Wolverhampton Grand Theatre. I'm Tonia. And I'm Scott. And today we are delving into the music of Max Martin with the stars of And Juliet the Musical. We've got Woo-hoo! Sandra Marvin. Hello. And Ranj Singh. Hey. <laughs> so excited. Oh, my word. Uh, we were really, really excited to meet you both. Um, and, you know, this show has taken the musical world by storm uh, you know all the you know the <laughs> songs as, as scott said uh, by you know max martin come on yeah. like what is going on legend tell us a legend actually that's yeah. on my paper legend <laughs> Derek, sorry yeah. i need to just stop moving <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Before I get you're told, uh, you yeah, in my view. Uh, <laughs> you. So, uh, so tell us a little bit about about this, about Anne Juliet. Tell us a little bit about either of you. Anne Juliet is it's a brilliant story in that it's following on from the end of the Shakespeare version, where we think that the, you know the the star-crossed lovers have both passed. It's a tragedy. It's really sad, and we get to that point where it's like. Well, hang on. <laughs> what if what if Julia didn't do that? What if actually she still got her life to live? And we go on a journey with some of the Shakespearean characters, but also with some new characters. We go on, on a journey where all of the characters really find themselves wow. on her journey. Mm. They find, you know, different aspects of themselves. And Juliet herself is you know, the lead and her journey is the one that we all follow. And it mi- mirrors. We also have Shakespeare and his wife in the story. Okay. Who almost like Greek God, some of our characters, mm. in a nicer way than the Greek gods. Yes. <laughs> in a kinder way than the Greek gods. But they like shift us around and, you know, have us tell stories to suit their means. But Anne's story and Juliet's story kind of mirror in how they're trying to find themselves oh. at different parts of their life. Mm. Um so it's it's great. It's just one of those shows that actually really does have something for everyone because everyone's had that, you know, are you finding yourself in your first love? Yeah. Are you a father <laughs> who was a career, you know, this general and he's having to get in touch with his, his feelings? Yeah. Are you someone that had a motherly role and as my character is and it's like, oh, but I've found love now, but... Uh, um, I don't know how to do that now because for the last most of my life I've been the motherly role. Yeah. So every there's something for everyone. Wow! And I think that's why it's such a hit because it resonates with everyone. And uh, the the tagline is true. It's life after Romeo. Yeah. What if there was life after Romeo? And it's peppered with some of the best music yes. you will ever know because we all know these these songs. We grew up with them or we listen to them now. Max Martin is probably the most, he's actually the most successful songwriter of our century. You are mm. 100% he's, right. Yeah. It's just, the man is an icon. He's a legend. He's yeah. the moment. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he has done everything from right, from Britney to Backstreet Boys, mm. Jesse J to Ariana Grande, Kelly Clarkson, Bon Jovi. It's all in there. It's a riot. Yeah. It's a party yeah. on stage. But don't you think as well that some songs that, you know, we didn't even realise that they were his That's songs? Yeah. yeah. We didn't yeah. realise. Really? Like, and still learning, still still finding those beats, yeah. those yeah. And sounds. They actually, they're woven into the story so well that they sound like they're written for the show. Oh yeah. And it's not, it, it, no, no single song sounds shoehorned in. It yeah. feels like it was supposed to be in this show and then it's become popular. Yeah. What? Yeah. It and really is, the, it, right. yeah, it's true. And the other thing, I was thinking about it the other day because for some reason, <laughs> and again, you know how you were saying about the, the number of songs that he did? I didn't know all of them were his. But I was driving in and it's like, oh, there's, an, oh, yeah. there's another one, yeah. there's another one. And I was thinking... It's so crazy <laughs> the way they're put in sometimes as well. They're it's very witty yeah. and very funny. Like uh, there's mm. quite a dry humor <laughs> if you know the songs as well. Yeah, it sometimes a song will come up and it's funny that it's been used to tell that story. Yeah. And like you say, it's like it's like it's always had that meaning. Yeah, but it hasn't. But in the context of the show, it, it's hilarious. I love that as well because I know in my my upbringing in my Caribbean background. Do you know what? 
we every time we talk in general, have conversations, we always find a song. Yes. That we, yes. So yeah. We yes. always find a song that links to whatever we're talking about. Yeah. We, we could just be, I could be cooking and then I end up singing. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, that's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah. That's what it feels like for, yeah. for the show. And like naturally just segueing yeah. in. Yeah. But the, it's, but the, it's the story of our life. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who sings that. <laughs> That's not a Max Martin. Well, it is not, you know. But do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Is that oh, One Direction? It is, isn't yeah. it? I didn't want you to say. Yeah, it really and is. they were on the same series of X Factor as Matt Cardle. Uh, He's our yeah. Shakespeare. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Come on, so that's the that. way. That is the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the mic. Sorry, <laughs> wow. To smooth that little <laughs> back to me. And obviously, talking about these songs as well, <laughs> they're, they're great standalone yeah. songs. Yeah. yeah. But then you can mash them together. Yeah. yeah. Which is your as, moment as on we stage. Yeah. It's your moment we on do. stage. So we've got like, um, you, we've got your moment in the show. We, we like have a little teenage dream. Scene, don't we? A break free that we can sort of <laughs> smash together. Let's talk about that moment on stage, you two oh, together. Oh, it oh, is oh. honestly, it's my favourite part of the show. Okay, yeah, because because no, <laughs> because well, for me, I get that, to I actually just be me. That yeah. is the silly me that I would normally be, <laughs> and we have so much fun together. I'm not going to give too much away yes, just in case people haven't seen it. It's a mashup of Teenage Dream and uh, Break Free, which is obviously Katy Perry and a Grande, yeah. and it's telling. It's it's the morning after the night before between us Ooh. and we start <laughs> off the best part of this is we start off in the bed together you could give it away oh no, my gosh yeah, yeah, go, but, go for it but <laughs> this is good. This the is conversations the we have <laughs> under those covers oh my what are we having for dinner <laughs> like, what did you have did for you, dinner? What did you? What, oh, you did didn't you just that. do that? Was oh, that you? No. Was that which end did that come out of? <laughs> it's just, oh my oh god! My, it's so funny. We do have a fear of what if our mics went? <laughs> Can you imagine if our mics went at this moment? We're in, uh, under the sheets like this. Oh uh, so no, just, we are. It's really good fun, we'll and it is that sort of, of fun. It is that sort of playful rough and tumble between us, where I'm trying to get you back into yeah. bed and you're like leave me no. but actually don't leave me yeah, yeah. Keep no no me. it's like Pepe Le Pew yeah it's very it Pepe Le Pew it's very kind no, of yeah no I don't like it and yeah. I do yeah. <laughs> it's kind Stop. of like that <laughs> I'm loving 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 this I'm I want to know what I mean we've been talking about the song so much mm. but I want to know what is your favourite songs within the show because there's obviously there's so many great songs but um it might not be your main favorite but just tell me you know oh gosh, a song so that many. speaks to you and the reason why there's and it changes yeah oh no it? that yeah. i get it oh my gosh i and this is genuine i've cried so many times during rehearsals and during performances because these songs weirdly really resonate with different parts and times of your life wow um so Shape of My Heart is a song that I sing where I have cried during it, during a performance, because it is um, yeah. a father mm. figure trying to open up to his son and say, I want to understand you and I now want to be with you. And you're a very different person to who I thought you were. And a lot of us, especially queer kids growing up, yes. understand that. Yes. Well, your parents are not from the same place and don't necessarily get you, but having that moment where your dad says to you, please let me in, I want to wow. be there. That is spectacular. The One More Try is a beautiful song that was written for Anne Juliet. Um, and Jesse J sings it on the soundtrack and it has a gorgeous message about second chances. Yeah. It's, it, it's just, and, and you sing a song, um, Effing Perfect, at the end, <laughs> um, which I cry every time you sing it. You know. Uh, I do. I, why do you think I'm standing at the side in the wings with tears down my arms? I know, I'm just like... <laughs> Oh, you're like right. This is the new reveal. Um, this is great for you. It's, yeah, th there's so many songs that mean a lot. I can't pick one. Yeah. No, that's um, great. It's but they, they, they really, yeah, they really hit home in the best way possible. And again, the weird thing about it is that like the words haven't been changed for the no. show. No, they haven't. Um, but they do really hit you hard. And it, like, I agree with you with all of those songs for the same reasons. Everything perfect. Oh, Miss Raw then. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that's that's one of those that hits me because it's 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 that thing of actually believing that 
all of us, every one of us, we are enough. Come on. It, you know, and I think everyone has that that problem of like, you know, not feeling that you're enough and the imposter syndrome and, you know, all of those things and actually yeah. believing that you are enough. Yeah. That's why I think this show's got so many powerful messages yeah. and it's so positive and, and inspiring. And it hits us... It, just as hard as the audience it really does yeah there it? was one time when like we get to just after that Juliet gets to a place where she's like actually yeah she has this light light moment and she's like and she comes up with these affirmations and one night I had to I, I was meant to like reply to one of them and one night she said one of them and I was like yeah <laughs> this is what I'm thinking to myself yeah, yeah. meanwhile on stage there was a little bit of silence <laughs> because I didn't say my line oh. <laughs> and then I went that's my girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, and my voice was all wobbly because I've gone into a space thinking, yeah, she's right. And there oh. is one song in the show that everyone stops for yeah. a moment, backstage audience, and that's when Lara sings, That's yeah. the Way It Is. Yeah. And my gosh, it is a show stopping yeah, performance. It's stunning. It is stunning. It gets the biggest cheer in the entire show. There's yeah. a reason for it. The message is beautiful. And the way she performs that song, she kills my it. God, it's heart gut wrenchingly yeah. beautiful. And we all stop, and we're all standing at the sides, and we're all watching. Um, it, honestly, I can't describe it. Spine tingling that moment. Yeah. I have to say that about our cast. Actually, like yeah. what you've just said is that we really are there for each <laughs> yeah. other in that way, isn't yeah. it? Like we are all like cheering each other on yeah we're championing each other yeah. every single show and yeah we have a good time it just and sounds like sorry carry no, on. i was gonna say as you said this this show on the surface is a riot and yeah. a party on stage right which it is you think it's going to be silly it's yeah and love. isn't that just the best way to get these messages yeah. across because you talk about the songs and stuff and i think you know having seen the show this is probably one of the most important shows yes. i've ever right seen now. in terms of what it yeah. says about who you are yeah. about who you know who you can be yeah. um and you know i think when you sort of watch this show um you know you can feel safe yeah. watching this show yep. you can see yourself everyone yeah. will see themselves everyone, everyone, everyone every will. age does yeah. that's yeah. the best part yeah. Yeah. yeah every identity it's you know it's the message is like female empowerment yeah celebrating yourself being whoever you want to be celebrating yeah. love finding love at different stages of life and yeah. having a second chance at love all of these messages are yeah. so important right now and that's why we see people from grandparents so right diverse, to little kids saying that they love the show because it spoke to them in some sort of way yeah. it's and more than any show i've been in as well yeah. Hi, ah, yeah, I came and saw it on Monday and we came back again and we're coming back in in, oh, yeah. in, in when you go to this venue. We love well. return custom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all Keep love coming back. Keep coming back. Yeah. Please. But it, you know, it's it hits people that much that they yeah. they are like, no, I want to go back and, and they come back and they see something different and yeah. Do you know it's beautiful. what? Just listening to both of you beautiful human beings about this show. It just, for me, I genuinely believe everyone, you know, Wolverhampton, you need to get yeah. your tickets. You, you need, need to get it. them now yeah. Yeah. because... You won't regret uh, it. You will, you not, will regret not regret it. it. Just even just even just to taste um, the, the atmosphere of yeah. what we are about to step into just by you talking yeah. is, is golden. Yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, again, for the shows that I've done... You, you never take an audience's response for granted. Yeah. But the weirdest thing on this one is that without fail, we've you'll have a full house standing every ovation. Show. Every show. Like, yeah, everyone's, up on, everyone's just it's up on their feet madness, and dancing and, and it's just so joyous. It And you've seen, the sh you know, you yeah. have those shows that come and it's like, yeah, it's a great show and it's... It's fun and you feel happy. But you can see that people, you know, and people are like weeping at yeah. the end yeah. and then, or they're laughing and they're dancing. Uh -huh. It's when they start singing raw. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, there was one yeah, lady like, at the front going, yeah. <laughs> doing a little bit of the car. <laughs> she wasn't sure what it was, so it's kind well, of like a little this. stroke. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, go it's on, so lovely. Yeah, go on. Go on. Oh. 
we can't wait for this to come to Wolverhampton, can we? Oh, um, we can't wait to share I can't wait to come to Wolverhampton. Yeah. Get on to the yes, 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 on to Wolverhampton. Yeah, that's it. We because love Sandra, the stop. Wolverhampton is, is a return. Yeah, I love you. coming to Wolverhampton. Your audiences really embrace the theatre mm. and we have such a great time. We have I'm such a great tell time. Tell the people them. I'm <laughs> telling them. I'm telling tell them. the people them. <laughs> and, you know, you always look after us and we, we feel like we're coming home. I've it's heard about day. the curry. Yes. Yeah. I've heard about the curry night. Listen, nothing's going to make us come quick <laughs> than food. <laughs> Food. But Rand, Rand, you've got roots. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, you've got roots I in do. our Have you? Oh, I've, I've spent part of my childhood in Wolverhampton. So, what? so my, um, my dad's uncle and aunt, who were basically my grandparents growing up, because my grandparents don't live in this country. So, my dad's uncle became my grandparents. Um, they lived on Dunstall Hill in what? Wolverhampton. So, you know, <laughs> we'd go there all the time. And I've got be- really fond family memories of Wolverhampton. Aww. And um, they've my grandma's passed now, and my granddad still lives there. My uncles still live there, and I'm going to go and see all my family and stuff. Oh. They're going to come and see the show. They're really, really excited. Um, yeah, it's it's a, it's a bit of a circle moment for me to come back to this, and I'm 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 really looking forward to it. It's quite emotional for me. And in your musical theatre oh. debut, as it's well. bonkers. Like, <laughs> no, what it's what a, better to, to do yeah, that. Yes, so a lot of my family won't have seen me in that space. Oh. Uh, won't have seen me on stage, and I think they're really excited. And I'm gonna say he smashes. He smashes it. Oh, oh I, you I have, have to say, say no, 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 no. I have to say, I think say what it sweet, is, Sandra. Yes, it's a comedy yes, role. I bought her loads of prosecco. <laughs> <just before. laughs> you best listen, Randy, no, because this say, is I'm real. Gonna say, I'm gonna say this. I hear this now. It's a comedy role. Not everyone can do comedy. Exactly. Not everyone is funny and, and can, you know, they, or they might be funny in real life and then they get on stage and it's like, ah. <laughs> no, you're right. And you smash it. Oh, you smash it. You. You're brilliant and your voice is gorge and oh. it, you, you're a joy to be like working with. I'm, and, really. and the feeling's mutual. The no, feeling is no, so, no, I'm no. so lucky to be a part of this show, to have this as my debut. There could not have been a more perfect, a more inclusive and welcoming show and audience, I think. Um, I came into this with such... My nerves were up to here because I had so much to prove. I don't come from this world. Well, this is it. I I mean, I think it would be really good for people to hear a little bit of the journey of how did you... How how, how did that happen? Uh, 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 Musical theatre to me has always been magic. You know, it brings people together. It's something I've looked at from afar and thought... This is just, be, I want to be a little part of that one day. And I didn't get a chance to, much like Sandra and I share a similar story, I didn't get a chance to grow up and train in that sort of thing. I was always a creative kid. Yeah. I didn't have the privilege and opportunity to, to take part in it. And I always kind of watched it from afar. Don't get me wrong, I loved my career that I built and worked towards. But then there was always that little part of me that wanted to just spread my wings a little bit. And this opportunity came along like quite randomly by chance I've done little bits but this came along so I had a lot of training to do I had a lot of extra classes to do I had a lot to prove and I came in with huge anxieties and this this show the people Sandra and everyone else basically grabbed me and just took me like this and said we're gonna hold you we are gonna hold you (laughs) and it it genuinely I cried in rehearsals on the first day I came home and cried because I, I said I had such horrible worries about this and I feel like they've just grabbed me at the perfect time. I was going through so much when we were started rehearsals and they came and they grabbed me at the perfect time and said, let us hold you through this. <sighs> and I thank whatever lucky stars are out there that I said yes to do oh that show because it came goodness. at the right time. It really I did. never expected to get emotional. <laughs> honestly, that just to we're hear We're with that. our people. But just to hear you um, express in that way is so important yeah. for people from different backgrounds yeah. who would uh, uh, sit in and looking, watching, um, this is videoed obviously, um, listening and thinking to themselves, could I ever, could I ever? We've both done and it though. You know, I'm 45 I, listen, yeah. and I'm making listen a, a step into this world. It's never too late. It's never too late. Yeah. And never. I to chase always your say, you know, representation matters. And I don't yeah. say it as a slogan ever. It's not about a slogan. No. It's not about a tip box. No. It's about the tr- the reality totally. of that. Totally. Um, the weight in which that holds yeah. is just 
Amazing. such a diverse cast yeah. on stage, don't we? Yeah. Every back, we've got four Asian people, which you don't see much in West End shows. Yeah. No. Not, you see a lot of black representation, which is good. I think we need to do better. Yeah. But you don't see much Asian no, representation. You're right, yeah. And we've got every size, every sexuality. We've got three non-binary people. Yeah. We've got... Just a cross section We've of life. We've got a cross section of life. Like, you know, the, a sterile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is this is what, what is deemed you know, and it ideal works. or whatever. It, it, yeah. it sings harmoniously. It's like it was meant to be. Well, it's, that is it's a beautiful show. how the world should be. Yeah. 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 And talking of singing <laughs> harmoniously. <laughs> oh, nice little segue. Little there. seggy, you seggy way. way. <clears throat> well done. Yeah. Me, me, me. What the hell? We are the camera let's we're a fledgling <laughs> podcast don't yes. we Tanya? well we keep we're gonna have to keep saying that we're gonna have to keep saying that we're not so fledgling anymore but we still don't have a jingle what? for our podcast yes. we don't it's the truth and we don't want one because we want to keep doing what we do which is we ask our guests just to come up with a real fun listen it's nothing major it is just a I've fun got thing. One. I've got one. Oh my I've gosh, hang on, you two have gone. <laughs> Let me just tell you first of all, you need to make yeah. sure Wolverhampton Grand and um, Theatre and Spotlight, Spotlight. Podcast is I've in got it. One. I've got one. Oh, I've got you two one. are. I've got oh, one. Come the on, best. Is the same one? She like, do you want to start oh and then I jump in? I love it might not be the same one just though. Perfect. Mine's really if easy if for you to join in If you start... And it's the same as the one I'm thinking of. I'll join in. It might be. But even if it's not the same, you then do yours and then we merge it. We mash it up. And we learn it and we mash it up. And we learn it and we mash it up together. Go for it. You're going to go, you go first. I haven't warmed up or anything. Are you going first or me? Yeah, but what if my idea is not what your idea is? Okay. Go for it, go for it. Spotlight Podcast. Wolverhampton Ground. Spotlight Podcast. Wolverhampton Grand. Grand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, it's the French and nice, Saunders nice. thing too. Okay. Do you remember the, the French and Saunders? Uh, French and Saunders, but uh, do we? Do we do do we come, what's yours? So what's yours? Yeah, yours yeah. is going to be like friends. Snoop Dogg. No, 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 no. Hard Because I just like. Wolverhampton Grand Spotlight. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just because you think I might. Come on. There's no one other worthy. Yes! Word. I just like. like come on. Ooh, ooh. Whoa. 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 Grand Spotlight. Ooh, ooh. Just because. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. You know what? You're right. Yeah. Oh, no, let's yeah, get it all yeah. across the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All across the room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You did oh, that. You did that. Give good. Me that. Give you that. Yeah, that was quite good. We just came up with that. In it, in it, we haven't it. warmed up. That was. No, yeah. Awful. No, don't judge us on that. Don't judge us on that. Put the vocals in the show. I'm get the auto tune on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a bit of reverb, like the cathedral. People want to see the roar. Drop a beat underneath it. I went to a dance hall. Hall, so sorry. Sorry. What's it called? Bashman. Yeah, yeah. Bashy Bashy. <laughs> bashy Bashy. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Well, how have we Bring gone yourself there? back. Like... Bring yourself back. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. Let's get it back. Oh, my because my we my are my at my the Grand Theatre. We are. Know, <laughs> darling. Rewind. <laughs> and come again. We <laughs> can chat we forever. Are. Scott, yeah, we you could, took yeah. the words out of my mouth. You... It, you two have been an absolute joy. Like oh. when my eyes close when I'm talking, it's because it's like you know sweet food when you're like uh, mm. that's, that's mm. what you two mm. are. Uh, and you are like chicken, the, the sweetest chicken. <laughs> yes, and chicken. chicken and Sweetie, chicken. You are the sweetest chicken oh, I've ever you. known. <laughs> I'm trying to audition you. Know. There's no way. I, I beg you, beg you, beg you. We're gonna have all that sweet chicken. <laughs> yeah. All the sweet chicken. Uh, yeah. Bring on when you get bring on the curry. We can't wait to have you back. Yes, we can't wait to have you home. Thank you. We're so oh. looking forward to Anne Juliet this October. So make sure you head to the website, grandtheatre.co.uk to get your tickets. We'll see you there and we'll see you in the next one. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks for having us.